What's up, YouTube? This is Johnny No Surf, lifeafterinternet.com. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2016. It's about 2.18 p.m. Making this quick YouTube video today to let you know I'm taking a 30-day break from the internet because I got a great idea. So in the last podcast, podcast number seven, I said, no surf makes you bored and boredom stimulates creativity. I just spent uh, a few days up north. There's no internet. There's no, uh, there's no home internet. There's no Wi-Fi because it was a cabin. Um, we did have electricity and I did have data. Actually, I had data on my phone, but because I have my phone locked up with custodio and have been for months, couldn't get on anything. So thanks, thank you, Custodio, for doing the job and let me have a, a weekend totally away from the internet. Of course, I didn't bring my laptop with me up to this cabin. A real way to disconnect and get back into nature and all that fun stuff. And it made me think. It made me think about uh, about a month ago. Each volunteer, he sent me a message on Reddit. He was talking about the hotline that I had. It was one eight seven seven R no surf, and I had it for about six months. And long story short, it wasn't ideal, and kind of didn't work. <laughs> it took about like ten seconds for the phone call to actually connect with my phone, and people would wait, and then like they'd hear it ring, and then they just hang up. My phone would never ring, but I kept getting these voicemails online that were just like three seconds of blank sound. So that's what was happening. It was people were hanging up before it connected. So then I just get a voicemail blank sound, which was goofy. I did get like one legit call, but for the most part, it was unused. So after six months, I, I told the company that I wasn't going to, I didn't want to pay for it anymore. And that was it. So he was asking me about that. He was curious about ways that no surfers could communicate offline because I got two things written down here. And the main forms of communication among no surf people are on the internet. And that is problematic for everyone. And then my second point here is the main places for no surf people are domain names, not a physical address. So I'm a no surf guy, right? Let's say there's another no surf person. And uh, the only way we talk is on the internet. And the only place we would meet up is on a domain name. So that's uh, that's problematic. So about a month ago, I was talking to Isha Volunteer on the phone about that. And it was good. Now I'm going to take this 30-day this break from the internet. And I'm going to get really bored and I'm going to get really creative. And I think what's going to end up happening is the communication form we're going to choose is going to be the phone. Just because it's easy. Everyone has one. And I think we're going to have some meetups. Earliest we would have one would probably be uh, tomorrow, <laughs> but that's highly unlikely. So I'm, I'm going to say a year. I'm going to say we're going to have a meetup in about a year. Even if that meetup consists of just me flying to LA to see him, uh, <laughs> I would be content with that being the first meetup. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take this 30 day break. I'm going to really put some some time into thinking about these two ideas here, the communication and the meetup. I'm going to check my email a couple times and uh, you'll hear from me again in 30 days. Once again, this is Johnny No Surf, lifeafterinternet.com. Have fun out there in brick and mortar land. I know I will. Enjoy. <laughs>